Hi, I'm Yaku. I'm going to show you how to change the, the DM42 into a C47 with the uh, help of this uh, new um, template bezel that we uh, that has, is now in stock. So um, this particular one has evidence of uh, abuse over here, and this happens when you use metal metal tools close to close to it. So that's why I stopped using metal tools and I'm using a, a, a wooden tools, a standard um, supermarket toothpick. That's, that's what uh, works very well. If you need a little bit of a tougher tool, a Chinese chopstick <laughs> does the work and a little bit of a, just a sculpture at the front just to make it a little, little bit of a blunt tool that gives a little bit more surface area to work with. Don't use a lot of force, that's needless to say. Um, but uh, of course, these these little these little tools are used. I use them to pull off these these um, templates from from the calculator once it's stuck on. So we won't be using that now. So what we will probably have difficulty with is is looking at the um, double sided tape at the back that keeps it down. So um these this this double double sided tape is perforated over here you can see five lines there's one there's one um where's the other one there's one there's another one there's another one four, four lines that is uh, uh with five it's one two three four five strips that you can remove two little strips at the sides or three three center ones i'm gonna i'm gonna remove everything and stick it down properly um it's not, the, not, it's not that hard to get off. You get a prying tool at the, uh, below it and then lift it and, and, and run with it on the, along the side below it. Then you can lift, you can lift, lift, that, lift it up and put it um, carefully. And then uh, if you pull it carefully, there's not even a residue at the back. If you do pull it too quick, you can, you can, you can let, it, uh, let some of the glue come off and then you just have to use your bigger prying tool to, to just rub it off. Um, this particular one had a, a, a previous uh, sample template and it's been, it, in fact it had a few already, that's why it looks like it looks. So this particular one, I'm going to take it off now. So I'm going to just find a way to get this, uh, get the double-sided tape off and that will work well. A little knife or a scalpel or something might, might work well, but there's a, there it is. There's the, um, I'm going to pull it off complete. I'll show you that you can actually just go along the perforation and um, take off one little strip. Although I'm not going to do that. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna <coughs> to take it all the way out. Okay, there we go. Chuck that away, and um, I'm going to fit it like this. First of all, I'm just going to give it, a, give it a bend in the other direction. Oops. That was a, that was on the floor, but for some reason it landed with the with the glue on the upside, so it didn't stick to the floor. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lay it on top. Give it a wiggle so that it can drop in. Um, just lay it on top and uh, get some tools. Shift it. Shift it back in. There we go. Uh, it sticks to the fingers, eh? So. This is fairly loose on top, and that's what I wanted. So I can see it's uh, it needs a little bit of uh, going that way. That's it. And a bit more that way. And then it can drop down. And then with these little um, cotton buds, I can uh, I can just wipe it down. Okay, 
you go. I'll do the, I'll do the very important uh, side so that we don't have something lifting up there. And off you go. It's done. Okay. Very pretty. Okay. Let's see. Oh, well, it's still on. I didn't even switch it off. Okay, folks, uh, that is not too difficult. <laughs>